Hey everybody, welcome to today's update on Daily IoT. On today's episode, we're gonna talk about the RGB LED issue that we have on our hockey puck PCB. Uh, the colors are not shining through quite correctly. We noticed this, uh, Andy noticed this in testing that in DFU mode, the P1 is supposed to flash that RGB LED yellow, but it's flashing green. And so we're trying to figure out what's going on there. A lot of different things that you can look at on that. Is it the component? Is something wrong on the PCB? Um, is something well, that would be a PCB problem if something's wired up incorrectly. Uh, but anyway, just looking at that, trying to troubleshoot that. And so I just wanna show you that and then show you what uh, the result of the uh, debugging and research on that turned out to be. So uh, let's take a look at the problem and see what the solution is. Okay, so here is the PCB for the Puck project. And the RGB LED is this little guy right here. Um, center that back up right there. And so the problem that we're having is it doesn't ever turn yellow, which it should do in DFU mode. Um, and right now I have some firmware on there that I wrote to test this, trying to debug it, that will cycle through the basic colors, red, green, and blue, uh, to see what's going on. Because when we put it into DFU mode, that LED should flash yellow, but it's actually flashing green. Let me just show you that really quick. Uh, let's see if I can get this plugged in. If I get it plugged in, and then I do my buttons here. So that is DFU mode, and you can see that that looks pretty green when it's flashing, but I don't know if the camera can pick it up. Probably not. Yeah, not on the screen, but to the naked eye, you can see a little bit of red in there. And so to test things out to make sure that the LED was wired up correctly, I wrote some firmware that will cycle through each color, red, green, and blue. And so if I hit reset, it'll cycle through those. So that's red, green, and blue. And now if you will look closely, and I'm not sure how well this is showing up. I think it's showing up okay. Red and blue, blue and red there, are pretty similar in brightness, but green is really bright. See that, how bright the green is? And so what it looks like is happening is that the green is just so bright, it's flooding out the red, because to make yellow, you add equal parts red and green, and you get yellow. And when the P1 is trying to do that to create the DFU yellow, the green is just overpowering it, so it looks like a, a really just a flashing green. Let me show it one more time. There's magenta and then that's green. The magenta too is a little light, but uh, there you are. DFU mode still looks like flashing green. And so that was the problem that we were trying to figure out. Went back and forth a couple times and then Andy found something very interesting in the data sheet for this particular RGB LED. We're going low budget today. I'm not gonna do a screencast. Uh, just filming this with my phone. Anyway, here's the data sheet for the LED and what Andy noticed uh, which is really cool. If you scroll down to the bottom of page one here, there's some information about the different color LEDs that are inside the RGB LED. You can see here we've got, I love how it's called hyper red and not just red, but it talks about the uh, brightness of it in millicandelas, I believe is what that is, just basically the luminosity. And it says it has a minimum and a typical value. And for red, you can see that that's 15 typical. For green, it's 50 and for blue, it's 14. And so completely normal behavior actually that the green LED inside the RGB LED is much, much brighter. And so we're gonna need to compensate for that. Okay, so as you can see from the data sheet, it looks like our problem is that just by design, the green LED inside the RGB LED is just extra bright. And so for those that don't know the way an RGB LED works, it's a, it's a single LED, but really it has three LEDs inside of it of the basic colors, red, green, and blue. And then those shine in different brightnesses and combinations to form all of the other colors, including uh, turning all of them on to get white. And so, um, as we were looking at that, you could really see, it's kind of hard to tell on the video there that when it was flashing yellow for DFU mode, there's just a little bit of red coming through, but the green is overpowering it so much 
that it just it looks green and so we think that all we need to do is probably stick a different resistor value on the green LED line coming from the P1 module to lower the current going through that which would bring some of that brightness down. Figuring that value out I'm not sure how we're going to do that. Uh, there's not a graph in the data sheet that shows um, forward current versus uh, brightness. So it doesn't show, there's no curve that shows the brightness based on the current going through it. Uh, Cause a lot of the times those, those curves are, I can't remember what you call them, asymptotic. I don't know, anyway, once you hit the, the, the forward voltage, it just, it blocks off. And so um, I think we could just replace a resistor there and, and get that down in. But again, I'm not sure how to select that. I don't know if we need to make a little breakout for the LED or, or do some of those other things, but I think we've got that issue figured out. It's not a PCB routing issue it doesn't look like it's a part issue although it kind of is because the green is so much brighter than the other two i don't know if that's a common thing in rgb leds um it seems kind of weird that they would have different brightnesses like that because uh, you'd have to either compensate for it in firmware which is another option by the way i just want to mention that if you were driving this yourself through like a pulse width modulated pins three pulse width modulated pins you could adjust the brightness of the green in firmware to have it be, um, you know, maybe set its default to like 60% brightness with the red and blue at 100% brightness. The problem is, is I'm using the P1 firmware, the built-in particle, you know, device OS, which drives those to, to create those colors. And so, uh, unless I wanted to dig down into the particle firmware, which I could if I wanted to, but that now I'm creating custom particle firmware just to change the RGB LED. I think an easy fix is just to replace that resistor and we should be good to go. So uh, that's the update for today on Daily IoT. Uh, question of the day, what is your favorite color LED? You know, you're building a maker project or something, you grab the breadboard, you need an LED. What is that color LED that you reach into your toolbox to grab when you just need a random LED to show something uh, light up or, or turn on or off? Uh, what is your favorite color LED? Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate everybody joining in on the journey of Daily IoT, the show where together we're learning how to make the Internet of Things one day at a time.